Hello everybody and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 19 Double Tap Playthrough. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Monkey, that is not where you left the last episode. And yeah, I came back to the base. Because I was sitting there thinking, I'm going to sit here, you know, all night and dig up nitrate and we're still not going to have that much materials. So let me show you on the map. Uh, I went ahead and went all the way around that town and I found the trader. I didn't stop anywhere. I didn't go into the trader, but I marked it so we can go back to it later. And what I'm going to do is over the next couple in-game days, I'm just going to go out and wrench cars, dig up everything I can, and try to get us some material going. So, you know, we had a forge over here. I made us some more. I know they look stupid sticking up there, but that's the only room I have right now. There's our cement mixer. It's making us some sand right now. These two boxes up here, Everything I loot out of a car or wrench out of a car, we're going to stick in one of these boxes. All the base materials that I dig up, we're going to put in the other box. Except for whatever I put in the forges. I'm also going to try to get us a chem station going. Because I have it unlocked. And here's what we need for it. We need a beaker, forged iron, cooking pot, short iron pipe and five bottles of acid. We may not get it going unless I get the acid from cars because I'm not going to loot any POIs or anything like that. Just the cars that I'm wrenching. So, and right now we have no acid. We do have the beaker. We only have 55 iron and that's every bit of all the iron I have. I have no scrap iron. I have 91 left in the forge. So that's pretty much where we're at. Um, all our plants are growing pretty good. I got to harvest uh, one of the potatoes and the chrysanthemum and the yucca again. All that's down in our food. And uh, I will bring you guys back in a couple of days and we'll see how much stuff we have. Alright guys, welcome back. It's uh, the next day for me in real life. That was a long, long grind. Let me show you what we got. This is what we got out of the cars. I just went through the town and any cars out in the street or um, in the parking lots, I went ahead and, and wrenched them up. So we got quite a bit of stuff. Radiators, motors. I used a couple motors to make some more cement mixers. We got this book. Land claim areas. Yeah, I do 20% more damage to land claim property. That doesn't do us any good, but I'm going to read it. Hopefully we'll finish the whole set before this is over. But yeah, and we got uh, 10,000 more gas. I left it in the mini bike. And over here... There's the cement we've made so far. We got quite a bit of rocks, some lead. I made a little bit of gunpowder because we don't have much ammo and stuff for Horde Night. So I'm gonna use that gunpowder to make a bunch more shotgun shells before Horde Night gets here. Over here we got forged iron we're making as much as we can hopefully upgrade some of our bars up here we got the lead and brass that I did have we went ahead and made for the shotgun shells we're making cement in this one Over here we got some sand and stuff making empty jars because I had to go get water several times because mining this early is no joke. Are we making anything there? Nope. Okay. 
so that's basically where we're at. Are we making any, we're making sand there. Nothing and nothing. Yeah. So that's pretty much where we are. Oh, I wanted to show you this. During the day I had a hole I was digging in, but at night I came in here and dug this out. Now we can go all the way down to bedrock at night if we're at our base. Let's run and get down there a little faster. Okay. We can start digging all this out at night to get more stone to keep our concrete coming in. And I got a little bit of coal while digging these little shafts out. So that gave us a little place to dig at night where the zombies won't bother us. So, with everything going, I'm going to wait, I think, till the trader opens up. We can turn in that quest we did in the last episode. And if I can find anything south, I'll take it. Because I want to come down, I want to check this trader. And I want to go down to the desert and get a little bit of oil shell. And we need to start doing a lot of looting. We have one quest there already. But we got to do a lot of looting, quest or not. We just got to run in everywhere we can find. We need uh, acid to make our chemistry station and all the ammo we can find. Let's see what our game stage is right now. I got a few points. Let me show you that first. I got a few points while y'all weren't here. I put them into strength. Um, Sexy Saurus, Minor 69er, and Mother Load. And I put one point into Salvage Operations, wherever that's at. I'm not even sure where it's at. Right here. I put a point into Salvage Operations so we get a little bit more out of our uh, wrenching but yeah that's where we're at after three hours of just grinding and, and grinding that's all we were able to get because stamina usage is super hard still and we don't have much food you can see I've ate almost everything we had. We are almost out of meat, no canned foods, so we got to keep our eye out for food today as well. And I'm going to get my inventory straight and everything. As soon as the trader opens, I'll bring you guys back.
Thank you, Survivor. Check back soon. I get new merchandise daily. Alright guys, I believe my mic was muted that whole time. So, you seen the, uh, the holes over here that we dug. And our little trading with the trader there. We're going to head over to that quest. And I'll meet you guys when we get over there. Alright guys, we made it to our quest, and I'll try to cut in a, a few of the like animal kills I got on the way, but it was ridiculous. I, I made a wrong turn leaving town, I went toward the wrong city, so I had to turn, I cut through the woods a little bit to get back to the other highway, but like, I killed, I don't know, four or five uh wolves a few of them were dire wolves a couple of pigs just coming to this one other town it's ridiculous there were so many animals every time i turned the corner like i'm looking now just in case one's sneaking up on me like i don't know if the little update they did if they've added the animals back in but it seems really heavy so we'll see all right, let's get this started. I think this is just tier one, so it shouldn't be too hard. Me? Yeah, I'm loaded. All right. What do we got? Um, let's go ahead and wrench these while we're here. Might as well, since I just spent all that time wrenching. There's no sense in leaving something here.
All right. I don't think we'll wrench anything else till we get some food. That was super hard. How did that happen? I wasn't even aiming for him. Alright. Look, we got a little loot up there. Some more gas. I should be getting that cobble and stuff, but the way our stamina is right at the second, I'm not that worried about it. Steel tool parts, alright. We can use those. Hello? Come on out here, Eddie. Okay. That tier one's done. I think, hopefully, that's our last tier one. We can just do tier two now. More steel tool parts. I don't even think I have steel tools unlocked yet. I probably couldn't swing them if I did, because right now, like I said, stamina. Ridiculous. Alright, let's get over here and get this working tools crate. There we go. Good enough. Generator bank. All right. Won't complain. We check all this. I think we did. Yeah. We'll double check around the outside. Here's a cooler. Food, food, food. Goat rod. Food in the trash? Nope. All right, that's the local trader. Let's run over there and we'll see if we can buy some food because we are starving. If not, we'll cook up some of that meat from all the animals. Hmm, maybe we ought to put some gas in first. See, right there is a bear. My goodness. We need to come back and loot this Am I Gone funeral home. There should be some ammo in there. So as soon as we get done at the trader, we'll come back and get that. Because we don't have a, a lot of time, we're going to have to head back to our city. And uh, day 14, we're going to have to spend upgrading the base and getting it ready. Yeah, I remember this trader. It's trader Bob's second location. Yep. What do we got? Can of tuna? I'll take it. That's all you have? We're gonna buy those, though. Might as well buy that. And that. And that. If he has any food, it's gonna be super expensive. All prices are fair here. Yeah, you liar. Now we're cooking with gas. What is this? Drinking beer no longer blurs your vision and your buzz lasts twice as long. Yes, please. 
Let's see what he has. Steak and potatoes meal. Bad as we need food, we're gonna buy that recipe. Ooh, the ratchet schematic. I don't know, cause it's better than a wrench, but I, I can't, I, I think a level two is the best I can build. Sniper volume four. Eh. Do 10% more damage to safes. That's a decent one. Alright, do we have anything to sell them to make a little room? I'll sell you a battery. Some oil. Radiator. Headlights. I got a few at home. We'll throw out them a couple little things. Oh, the steel sledgehammer parts. I'm never going to use those. Alright, we got a little room. Let's get a... Uh, do more damage to safes. Ooh, I want that motorcycle. Okay. Y'all come back now. Oh, we forgot to see if he had any food. Let's read this stuff. Do you have any food there, Bob? Charred meat. I can make that in your campfire. Uh, we'll buy the five mushrooms. Safe travels. We gotta put some points in uh, living off the land as well so that we can start making our own See, I can make chrysanthemum seeds. We'll take that to sell back to them. Does stuff respawn? Or did I not check it the first time? No. Okay. Let's, uh, what food do we have? We have that we can eat. And that's about it without cooking. Alright, All right, let's sell them that one schematic. I thank you, kind sir. Well, you're welcome, fella. Alright. We're gonna dump off what we can in our mini bike and we're gonna go back to the Am I Gone funeral home. Not bad, just a street or two over. It looks good now with the uh, new smoke and the lights they have on it. Looks really nice. Lean way down where we can see it. 
Be right in here somewhere. We're just going to wait for it to land. Acid, yes. Now we only need two more acid. We can make our own chem station. Because I could have made twice as much gunpowder if I'd have had a chem station. Yes, food and ammo. Scrap the arrows. I'm keeping the rest of that. Meat and most of it right now. Hopefully that'll hold us over till we get back home. I don't know if y'all noticed in my bike in my inventory that uh, I ran off without any medicine or anything again as per usual so we're going to have to be careful not to get a broke leg or an infection or something of course we got that honey now that'll help grab this stuff real quick for when I'm able to make seeds. So I want to get a good garden going to take care of all this food problem we're having. But yeah, that's a nice little garden. Bears still over there. Let's deal with him before he sneaks up on us. At least we have long range this time. Come here, bear. Try not to waste our good ammo. It's going to take quite a few blunderbusts, though. Where'd he go? Okay. I scared him away. He's a scared. There he is. Um, how are we going to shoot him? Without putting ourselves in danger. Especially if you're shooting them in the foot. Finally. But that's a little extra meat for when we get home. Let's 
see if we can jump up and grab these. Yep. Empty. There we go. Not near what we used on the bear, but we got some back. Shotgun shells, yes. More shotgun shells. Alright. Let's run in here and see if we can knock this out. Hello. Wake up. Is it just you, George? Is that it, really? Just George in this first room? Alright, let's search. Shotgun shells. Lead. Shotgun shells. Everybody likes getting buried with bullets. I love it. Some die. Alright. Is there anything else here I can search? Is there anything in there? Yes, some food. We need that. That's coffee. Oh, well. Let's go in here and wake everybody up. Hello. Hello. Just in time. <laughs> yeah, let's head down there. Hello. Blunderbust works very well. what the burning guy dropped. That's pretty nice. I can sell it. Is there anything in here to search? Medical. Another beaker. It's in a sports bag. Yes. We have enough to make our chem station. That's awesome. Sir, a. Yep. Vulture? We're like chock a block full again. Alright. I believe there is some loot up here. Ammo. Do I not have iron arrows? Oh, that's crossbow bolts. Get rid of those. We'll keep those. 
And this is going to be a hidden sandwich. Let's... I should have used this before we even went in the building, but... I always forget about the candy. And it didn't seem to help that much. Alright. I think what we're going to do is we're going to run and try to hit that airdrop and then get back home. And we'll start getting some ammo and our chem station and everything set up so we can uh, try to get ready for the horde. It shouldn't be too bad because I, I still have the zombie count on uh, vanilla settings. So, you know, it's only like eight max alive. So... It's not going to be too bad, but I think after this horde, we'll bump it up quite a bit. I just wanted to leave everything close to vanilla for the beginning of the game, in case there's anybody new watching and they get a chance to see what the game's actually like for a new player. Scrap that. We're going to eat all these because I'm still starving. Uh, let's see what we can toss out to make some room. Let's take a quick run for it, see if we can find some loot, and then we'll call it an episode. That's empty, so have I looted this? Uh, I said I didn't recognize it, and I've already looted the whole thing. Okay. I don't even remember coming to this area. But apparently I've been over here and looted it. Alright, well I'm going to call it there for this episode and I will see you guys on day 14 to prepare for the Horde.